Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at the 10 best brand new features of Samsung One UI 6.1.1. Now, Samsung One UI 6.1.1 was launched on the Galaxy Z Flip 6, and the Fold 6 was just recently pushed out to the whole Galaxy S23 series, the S24 series, as well as the Z Flip 5, Fold 5, and the Tab S9 series. Now, if you own a Galaxy S23 device or an S24 device, it'll be listed as 6.1, but if you own the larger screen devices, the flips, the folds, or the tablet, then those will be referred to as 6.1.1, even though they all do the exact same thing. So I will have timestamps below the video if you would like to seek through the video of all the topics that we will be covering. And if there's anything I missed, make sure you guys write in the comment section below what is your favorite features. So kicking this video off is one that's pretty fun to play with when it comes down over into super slow-mo. And this is a instant super slow-mo. So pretty much what happens here is let's say that you are watching a video and what'll happen is that if you press and hold on the screen, it'll give you a look of what super slow-mo would look like. But in Samsung One UI 6.1.1, when you're actually pressing and holding, it'll save that whole thing as a clip that you can now hit download. So if you liked that area that you press and held, it put it into super slow-mo, you'll actually now have that clip as its own clip sitting right here. So that brand new feature is pretty cool, but I wanna expand on it just a little bit more in case if you've never played with super slow-mo before on Samsung phones, when you're taking a look at your video, you hit on this little edit button. So maybe right up over here, you want it to be a slow-mo. So this is where you go to adjust speed. You can do like one fourth and you want it to maybe last maybe about that long. Now, what you can also do is you can tap on this whole area, you can split it up and then you can actually move it on over. So maybe you wanna have another section that's slow-mo. So this way you have regular speed, slow-mo, regular, and then maybe you want this one to be even slower. Now you have it going like that. So this way you can just watch your video back. It goes regular, slow, regular, and then slower. So it's a fun way to kind of play with super slow-mo if you've never done it before, but pretty much that instant slow-mo clip is fantastic with Samsung One UI 6.1.1. Feature number two is super fun. This is where you're actually able to clip out of a motion photo and create it into a sticker or a GIF. So this way you can create little stickers and GIFs that looks like this from your own videos. All you'd have to do is when you go inside of your camera, on the very top right hand side, you'll see this option for motion photo. Just make sure you turn it on. What happens with motion photo is that you'll take a picture and basically the second or the instant that you tap on this little shutter button, that's the picture you have, but it captures a short video right before it is captured. So what'll happen is when you have motion photo turned on, and let's say that you take a look at this little video here. Now this is the image. This right here will be the motion photo or the motion video. So what you'll be able to do is that if it's a motion video, you can press and hold on the subject. And then from here, you can actually save it as a sticker. And from save as a sticker, you can have it as just a regular original, or you can have it as a motion sticker. The other thing you'd be able to do again is if you press and hold on the subject, I always kind of move it a little bit. If you tap the three dots, you can now save this one as a GIF. So it's a fun way, if you would like, to send little images of your little ones or whatever they are doing. So let's say that we take a look at this right here. Maybe you're just gonna you know, have a little image where you're gonna jump off a cliff or something. So with this one, you can save it as a GIF. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head right back inside of my gallery and then inside a gallery, I'm gonna head over here and this is where all of those little clipped images are. So this was the first one that I did. Uh, this was another one I did of them spinning around. And then this is the one that we just got done doing where it's basically kind of, you know, jumping off. So if you have some fun little motion photos, you can actually capture and clip those images out to create them as stickers or as little GIFs. Feature number three, this one's now a part and built in and stock of the phone dialing app for you to just simply tap rather than swipe to answer a phone call along with a few additional settings. So on the very top right hand side, you just go inside of settings down here where it says answering and ending calls. You can tap right here and instead of having it as the option of swipe, you can now tap. Now the other setting that you can do if it can make your life a little bit easier is it'll automatically answer in speaker if you're not using a headset or Bluetooth. So if you are at work and you love the fact that you can just simply tap a little button, it answers it, goes inside of your Bluetooth, or if you're not using any type of a headset at all, it just automatically goes inside a speaker, which for me kind of works because I'm always home anyways, not always out in public. So it doesn't matter if my phone's in speaker. Uh, about 95% of the time, if I'm in a phone call, I hit speakerphone anyways. So this is a nice added feature for me. 
Feature number four, this one will definitely come in handy if you're somebody who uses your little voice memo all the time to remember something for later in the day or something came up for work or business or, or school. Basically, inside a voice recorder, you can now have everything transcribed or have everything put into summary for you. So when you go inside of your Samsung folder, this is where my voice recorder is. And with the voice recorder, you can see right here, I just did voice for video, which is basically this video that I'm shooting right now. So this right here is where I'm speaking into the phone. I'm actually just talking about ideas for this video, what I want to cover. And on the top up over here, I can hit on transcribe. So Galaxy AI is basically transcribing my whole voice memo and it's gonna put it into a whole transcript right here. So you can see right here, I wanna talk about Samsung One UI 6.1.1, talking about a few of the things that you're able to do. And the other nice thing that you can also do is if you don't want it to be saved as a transcript because you are able to just export it and save it, then you can also have it as a summary. And it'll kind of just put it down and you know, Samsung One UI 6.1.1 features, discussing video ideas for the day, exploring features. It's talking about some of the stuff that we are talking about it you know, evaluating the effectiveness of the features. So if you want to just do a little voice memo to yourself of what you want to send off to your team via an email, you'd be able to do just a regular voice memo where you're just kind of naturally speaking to yourself because it was just a regular natural speech. Then you could just have it summarize into email form and send it out to the team, making it look like you spent some time actually getting it all set up. So definitely one of those nice new features built inside of your voice uh, recorder right here that you're able to transcribe it and also get a summary. Feature number five, this is where you can do a bunch of different effects when it comes down to photos. So this one is called live effect. So for example, here's an image of me. And if you were to swipe up, what you'll be able to see as some options could be remaster or do some background blur. But here is live effect. This is where it's going to put a little bit of an effect to kind of make the photo jump out, be a little bit more alive than what it is. So you can see that it's kind of moving and swaying me around in the Jeep. If you like this one, you'd be able to hit on save copy. So this way you can have the original as well as the copy. Now, this is another image that I had, and this was the end result. So it's one that kind of zooms in and kind of moves me around a little bit. So it's moving the background, it's moving me, kind of popping me out from the background, which is pretty sweet. Here's another one that you'd be able to do. This will really only work the best for, you know, I would say people as well as pets, maybe some objects as well, but mostly people and pets, you'd be able to do this little live effect. And then with this one, it's probably gonna zoom in a little bit, zoom out, maybe pan a little bit. So it just kind of makes the photo a little bit more live than what it was from before. And again, this is just going to be saved as a little bit of a small little video, so you'd be able to send this off. So with exporting live effect twice now, I can see that there's a little bit of a difference between the two of them. One of them is nine seconds long with the other one being seven seconds long. It could be the fact that maybe I'm a little bit closer on this image here and this one I'm a little bit further. Don't really know, but definitely fun to play with. Feature number six, this one is called sketch to image. So this one's very fun to do if you ever wanna draw something onto an image that isn't there. This is where you take a look at your picture, you hit on the little edit button, and then you tap on Galaxy AI. Now there is two things you can do inside of images, inside of Galaxy AI, you have sketch to image and portrait studio. Portrait studio is like a honorable mention. This is probably ranked number 11th. It just didn't make my top 10 because I think sketch to image is a little bit more fun to do. I did cover portrait studio just yesterday in that past video. So you can take a look at that if you want to see what you can do. But with sketch to image, even with somebody as a bad drawer as me, you know, like let's say I wanted to maybe draw like a whale. Now for fun, I did actually try to draw a shark. I just wanted to see if I can get anything pretty close to it. This one was kind of already out of the water, definitely looked all you know CGI and all faked. This one actually looks very good. This one looks real. Based off of my horrible drawing, it's able to have a shark in the water looking exactly kind of maybe what it would exactly look like if it was that close. So yeah, another thing really fun to play with. Feature number seven, this is where you can go inside of my files and you can bring over an image or a video or whatever you want onto your home screen. Maybe it's something that you reference all the time. So this is where you go to my files. Let's say you just go to images. I'm gonna take this clipped image that we just got done doing. And as you press and hold on it, you're pretty much kind of holding onto it with the edge of your fingertip. Now, remember in Samsung One UI 6, you can navigate with two fingers. So you can still press and hold on something, navigate around, and then you can move something to the home screen. So this is kind of like a little shortcut that will take you directly over into this little image or video. So again, anything you reference all the time, if you just want it to sit right here rather than you searching for it, now you can just have it on the home screen. 
Feature number eight, this is where you have your Smarter Smart Select. Now, this one is a lot better than the original, except the original had one feature that is now taken away, which I'll actually cover that maybe in tomorrow's video. But this one is a better version of Smart Select. I think it's going to reach the more masses rather than just one little thing that I used Smart Select for. But when you tap on Smart Select, it'll look at the entire screen and you can just kind of tap around and it's going to highlight things. It's going to give you suggestions of what to do. You'll also be able to just do a simple thing like this and it'll make a little square for you. Now, let's say that you tap over here on these words. Some of the things that you'd be able to do is you can add this to your notes. You can copy it. You can share this or you can just pull the text from it. And there's other options too. You can convert and pin. So because there is a number in here, there's obviously gonna be a convert if you wanna move this over into maybe inches or something like that. The other thing is that if you take a look over here, you can do sketch to image. So if you see an image you can do, you can actually draw on this. You'd also be able to copy this, share it. You can download this image or some of the options over here, you can add this to a note, you can pin it or you can edit it. So let's say that we go right up over here and you can also do uh, you know, these little square rectangle thingies over here, those little corners, you are able to move them around. Here you're able to pull the text from it, download it, share it, copy it, uh, translate on. You also have add to note, pin, and edit. Uh, also, you can do your little square thingy, you can do a little line thingy, whatever you need to do. Smart Select is there to really do anything and everything that you want to do, except they did take out one feature, which is something that I use all the time, but I'll cover that in tomorrow's video. Feature number nine, this is where you can have the phone right for you. If this is inside of text messages, a social media application, email, whatever it may be. And this is an example that I used in the other video, but it's a really good example. So you can just use this in almost any situation. So right up over here, let's say that you wanted to compose an email to somebody who was out going to the dentist. Maybe they're anxious about the dentist and you just want to say, good luck at the dentist and I'll see you on Monday. So when you are inside of your little text area that you're writing, you open up your Samsung keyboard. Here's your Galaxy AI icon. This is where you go to Composer. This is where you're able to compose a full entire message just based off of small little ideas. You can have it go as standard email, social media, or a comment. So if you want it to kind of be a little bit more lively and, and some emojis, you can do that. If you want it to be a email, you can have it either be casual, polite, or professional. So for this one, professional, email, so let's just state that they are, uh, you just want to say good luck at the dentist and I'll see you on Monday and that's it. So this is all that I wrote. Instead of me going through trying to write a full professional email, I simply just said, good luck at the dentist, see you on Monday and I'm going to have it generate for me to make me sound more professional. So it could be, I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to wish you the best of luck at the dentist today. I know it can be nerve wracking, but I'm sure everything will go smoothly. Try to relax and think positive thoughts. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Monday. We can catch up then have a great weekend. Now, if this doesn't really fully sound like you, you can hit on refresh and it'll come up with something completely different or you'd be able to change it over into something a little bit more casual for an email. So it comes up with something different. You'd be able to hit on copy or insert and now this right here is a part of the email. The only thing I'd have to do here is just move this up over into the subject line. Feature number 10, this is where you have more functions when it comes down to the video player. So when you're inside of your gallery and you're watching a video, the bottom right hand side, you can watch the video in the video player to give you all of your controls. So the left hand side, you have your, your brightness, which has always been there. You have your volume on the right hand side by swiping up and down, which has always been there. You also be able to seek through the video very quickly just by swiping your fingers along the bottom. That has always been there, but what is new with One UI 6.1.1 is the double tap. So you can just seek it really quick by five seconds. If you know that whatever you're trying to see is like super close, but you don't accidentally want to skip over it, you'd be able to do a, a double tap on the left or double tap on the right to do a five second seek. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.